are in the mail. This year, unaffiliated voters can once again participate in either party's primary. And Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez explains how the unaffiliated could be the deciding factor in some key races. It's been a trend in Colorado for years. More people who register to vote aren't picking red or blue, but registering as an unaffiliated voter. So much so that they now make up the largest voting block in the state, 45% of all voters. Since 2018, unaffiliateds have been allowed to participate in party primaries. They're sent two ballots, one Republican, one Democrat, but they have to pick only one. In 2020, and about one out of four voters were unaffiliated. Unaffiliated's made up 38% of the vote in the Democratic primary and 25% in the Republican primary. This time around, that could change. We have several contested races on the Republican side, very few, if any, on the Democratic side. Races for the U.S. Senate, the governor, and congressional districts are all disputed on the Republican side, while most Democratic incumbents are unopposed. The question now is whether those unaffiliated voters will turn out in enough force to determine who gets the nomination. We don't really know yet how far uh, unaffiliated voters can move the needle. Over the past year, some Republicans have tried twice to remove unaffiliated voters from the process. Once with the Central Committee vote to do away with primaries that soundly failed, and once with a lawsuit that was ultimately dismissed. Supporters of a closed primary say people outside their party shouldn't be picking their candidates. But Ryan Winger from Magellan Strategy says it could help in the general election by bringing in more moderate candidates. Choosing more of more candidates who are closer to right of center that ultimately might result in more electable candidates for Republicans come November. However, Democratic consultant Jason Bain says the reach of unaffiliated voters only goes so far. On the statewide side, if you look back at 2018, the Republican candidate Walker Stapleton won his primary by about 90,000 votes. That's that's a bit too much, I think, for unaffiliated voters to to really make a difference. So they could make a difference in some races, but not in others. But it all depends on how many of them turn out to vote. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. The city of Denver.